Oh, Studio Trigger, what joys you brought us in cooperation with A1 Pictures. But I don't mean this one. Yeah. Um, studio Trigger is kind of a weird studio to say it that way, say it at least. Because mostly we don't can define a proper genre for the anime they produce. Yeah. The funniest thing I've once read someone who said Killer Kill is genre Magical Girl. And I was like, huh, I can see your point, but I don't agree. Yeah, you can neither confirm nor deny the the points of view. That's the problem. So Darling in the Franks is weird. We had high hopes for it. It's And those hopes were Crushed. In the beginning, it seemed like it's a more serious tone, and Studio Trigger isn't bad at serious tones, but... Then they started, like, in Gurren Lagann, playing frisbee with galaxies. But today we're talking about the Steelbook Edition. I believe it's Zavi exclusive. At least we got it from Zavi. Yeah. I believe it, it was exclusive, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, it was in a uh, Easter deal or something like that. It was uh, cheaper than it should be, or it was usual. That's the reason we said, okay, we will buy it. Because, like, the most popular Trigger anime are already uh, owned by us. So, like, Gurren Lagann, Kill a Kill. In different dubs, yes, because the Kill a Kill German dub is pretty amazing. And the Darling in the Franks dub was... Okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, and for the record, Kiss Niver watched it, didn't like it. That's the trigger anime we don't own. Yeah. Actually, yeah. So, inside the steelbook, we got Zero Two and Hero. We got four discs who all look the same, but I think that's not a bad thing necessarily because if the design works, just go with it. So I think the design of the steelbook looks pretty nice and really sweet, to be honest. For a second I thought there was a scratch, then I realized... It's her hair. Yes. Um, oh yeah, I could also show you the steelbook in general. Isn't that even a Weiss Schwartz card? That hero? Everything is a Weiss Schwartz card. <laughs> True. <laughs> it was the SP. But yeah, so much for that. I believe this is a nice way to own the series. If it's cheap, maybe go for it, but don't expect to be blown away. We, how much do we pay for it? Like, I think 20 euros or something like that. Yeah, 20 around. to 25 euros for an entire series that's cheap. For two mostly, cores. two cores, mostly. It is also a steelbook. It has some collector's value if you want to take it that way. So. Oh yeah, and yeah. 